Pinocchio. I'm not going to read the synopsis. It's it's Pinocchio. It's, it's a Pinocchio. little bit. Yeah, it's a little bit retold. You saw it earlier this year. If not, then you saw it in 1966 or whenever the original came out. It's Pinocchio. Yeah. That being said, it is very um, it's it's definitely its own thing, which I think benefits from it a lot. And I definitely think we all saw that. This is uh, obviously the one the stop motion movie directed by Guillermo del Toro, as well as someone else. Sorry to that. Someone else. They're not getting a shout out, but it's made. Mark. Mark Gustafsson. Yeah, it's his very first. Uh, it's also his directorial debut. So sorry to him for not shouting him out, but it's Guillermo del Toro. <laughs> uh, Seth, we'll start with you as as um, yeah. um, you didn't get to talk the last movie so well. i uh i gave this a four out of five um i really enjoyed it like i in terms of pinocchio adaptions we've obviously had a lot i mean we had the disney one which was i mean horrendous in every single way awful so, um i think i think this was really interesting i think it kind of was like almost an old-fashioned whimsical animation style um and it, it has a lot to say for itself as well and i like that there is kind of a a, a dark you know that there is dark aspects um, of the material that they didn't shy away from using, they didn't, they, you know, they took risks in, in in some of the some of the scenes and, and, and thematically as well. Um, the voice acting was really good. I think David Bradley as um, Geppetto, Geppetto, I can't remember the name. Geppetto. Yeah. Yeah. He's he was fantastic. I really really liked him. I think he was great. Visually, I mean, it was just yeah, fantastic. Visually, it was incredible. Um, I do think with myself, like the reason I, I just, I'm not that interested in the Pinocchio story in general. It's never really interested me that yeah. highly. Um, I don't have any direct gripe, gripes with this film in particular. I, I don't really like the songs sometimes. I don't really feel like they're in place, but I get, I get that. Is there's thing. no, there's no, there are no strings on me in this movie. Is there? I don't No. Uh, no. Was that in the original? I can't even remember. It was in the new. It was in I'm the newest, newest one. I, while. Yeah, um, I, I saw it's it. True, that's your Age of Ultron uh, love coming out right now. I guess, yeah. <laughs> but also, just I thought it was. I thought it was like a staple of the original, and maybe I'm incorrect oh, on that. Remember. But yeah, I do think I as well. Like this might be just a me thing. I think for what it was, maybe it could have been a little bit shorter. For me, it did drag at like certain points here and there. Because the the visuals are incredible, but there is gets to a point where it's like, okay, how much substance is in these particular scenes we're watching? Are we just watching these scenes because of how good the visuals are? Um, but again, it, it takes risks. It's the best Pinocchio adaptation I've seen. It's probably it's one of the best animated films I've seen that comes out in the last few years. I mean, that doesn't say much. I don't really watch many anyway. Um, but I think this definitely succeeded in, in what it was trying to achieve. I think it was really really good. And I think, I think for me who doesn't love the Pinocchio kind of the story, the tale, whatever. Um, if I'm giving it a four, people who love the story, people who are really interested in the subject matter will probably end up giving it a lot higher. Um, like a few of you did as well. But yeah, I give it four out of five. Really enjoyed it. Yeah. George, I know you were a huge fan. Yeah, I, I liked it a lot, but I don't even love like the story of Pinocchio. Um, obviously the one that came out earlier this year, I think everyone was holding their breath going into Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio. Um, but I just love that he kind of like took like classic Pinocchio lore and just kind of expanded on it. He added fascist ideologies, which kind of added this adult layer to this film, which I really enjoyed. There's that famous Guillermo del Toro tweet or quote that's going around where he says animation is not a the genre. Media. It's a medium mm -hmm. and it can be for adults. Uh, and I think he really tried to push that because there are some sequences here. Um, and I mentioned in my TikTok review, this is a haunting adaptation the entire sequence of geppetto getting drunk cutting down and this isn't really a spoiler this is pinocchio story it's pinocchio. But that whole, that whole, that whole... i'm gonna say sorry real quick this whole thing can be spoilers it's pinocchio. yeah I'm it's pinocchio. 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 everyone knows yeah yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah sorry it yeah be but um the, the entire sequence of geppetto like getting drunk creating pinocchio and then even to the next day where pinocchio or pinocchio <laughs> 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 where Pinocchio wakes up and is struggling to like stand up like it looks so demonic that one shot um and like that shit's gonna make kids cry like there are some like really interesting stylistic choices that with the animation stop motion with, as well. yeah with stop motion yeah. animation the color palette that he uses he uses a very dark gray and dark blue color palette throughout the entire film that just makes this a really haunting retelling um and then just the characters themselves. This is a Pinocchio story, but like Geppetto himself was so incredible in this film. He was he was fleshed out like crazy. Oh, you know, I had an emotional attachment to every single character. 
even the fucking cricket that Ewan McGregor played. Oh, he was uh, great. Okay. He, he was, was fantastic. His voice great. acting is he has the most distinct voice I acting. I love Ewan though. McGregor, like, man. Yeah, like especially was, also in like a uh, 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 sorry, The Beauty and the Beast. His voice acting, yeah. I love it. Like Dude, you, so you so hear him though, and you're like, "That's Ewan McGregor," but he has such a soothing voice where it just doesn't fucking matter. It works very um, well for that character, doesn't it? Very well. Yeah, and then I'd be lying if I said the ending didn't get a tear out of me. Um, mm. I, I thought that was a really solid way to wrap the film. Um, but yeah, I gave it a four and a half out of five. I think it's the best animated film of the year. Granted, it hasn't been that strong of a year for animation. I think Apollo 10 and a half is right there with it. Um, but other than that, it, it's been kind of a letdown. Um, but yeah, I, I really enjoyed Game of I will say as well. Yeah. Sorry, Jim's Rose. But, um, no, you're good. It's like a like George said, it is you know veering into kind of the, a mature audience with animation. I think now with animation, when we get in films like this, they are you know animated films in the past. A lot of them are great, but they don't create such thought provoking conversation like this can do. And I think this carries a lot. Do you not agree with that, Cam? I mean, I disagree for a lot of animated movies, but I'm a big animated fan. Um... No, no, I, I'm not saying anything, but I, I think like. I, I don't seeing, know. I feel like what we're what we're seeing in the past kind of five to ten years is a lot different than we've seen in the past in terms of the progression of animation being not a genre, not a genre, not a kids thing to a. a so wait, do you think the past five to ten years is more childish or less childish? Less, than... less. Okay, I agree with that. Okay, I, I'm saying that the progression of animation has been now yeah. to a point where it's we're not catering it for kids. We're catering it for all audiences where it can create conversation about real life world, you know, real world life and stuff like that. And I think that's a really, you know, good thing. I was, I was yeah. saying that it's better. The last yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, uh, yeah. I, I, I agree with you. Um, yeah. Tyler, your thoughts. I think yeah, you're the uh, only one I haven't even like heard, you know, my initial thought. thoughts. From. Oh yeah. So a lot of it's been, been covered. I agree. It transcends into the, it, it transcends the adolescent cliche that a movie or a story like Pinocchio would have. Um, the genre is on IMDb. There's three listed. One of them's family. Kind of like George said, this is like, yeah, for kids, this is going to be like haunting. Like, I wouldn't even really want to call this a family film because it tackles so many uh, tough subject matters. There's a lot of imagery in here that's going to be very disturbing for kids. Um, agree with Seth. I didn't care for any of the musical numbers. Those were all just like throw away for me. So that dragged it down a little bit. Yeah. Um, that, that's what holds it back for me. I, I, agree, yeah. I agree with that completely. I, I, like, oh, we all, I thought I was going to be the only one who was against that. No, against I almost that. like rolled my eyes every time that it started because I was like, this is so good. Like, And then that just kind of takes me out. Of, it took me out of the moment a little bit every time. Um, dragged a little bit in the movie also, like I think both of you mentioned. Um, if I were Pinocchio, I would have lied like one or two more times inside the whale just to like solidify that bridge that you're climbing across. Like, I feel like just one more lie would have made you <laughs> yeah, like, a lot one easier. More. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then, but yeah, like uh, overall, I thought it was very, very good. The voice acting was solid. Stacked cast for anyone who's out there who's watched it and just hasn't really realized who talk. all yeah, the yeah, people yeah. were voicing were. Definitely go check out who the cast was to make sure you can yeah. see who mm -hmm. everyone who was voicing those were because it's pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, I, one thing I got tweeted after this is like, I, I wonder if, like, with how, how much horror movies are coming out and like Pinocchio's had his run in 2022, like, are we going to get like a horror movie Pinocchio now next? Is that going to be the next? Probably. Yeah, yeah, like have G Geppetto like conjure Pinocchio to like seek revenge on yeah. the the Italian army for killing his son just becomes a horror rampage. But no, definitely tackles very adult themes. I really appreciated it. How there's so many distinct similarities to like the carnival's treatment of Pinocchio, which is very similar to like Mussolini and Italy's rule over his people at the time. So definitely very cool to see how much it just pushed the boundaries like we've all been talking about of really putting a lot of adult subject matter that you can chew on a lot as an adult and it's not just the classic kids Pinocchio tale, but definitely the best Pinocchio adaptation had a very good time with it. Very sad, very well done for you, you guys. You guys think this, really fun uh, as well. you guys think it is better than the original, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I was just, I, I, I didn't know when you say like best adaptation, I didn't know if you meant from the book or from the original. I've never read the fucking yeah. book. Um, I think I, I the yeah. original, like three and a half, maybe I saw sort of like, yeah, like three and a half. The original somewhere around that. I watched it a couple of years ago haven't came back to it um oh, I, I don't want to keep you know beating a dead horse and saying the same exact thing you guys have say i i have been an 87 out of 100 i think it's one of the best of the year um four and a half out of five do you know where it land for you it, in your yearly yeah i mean i have it i give me three and a half seconds but i i'll while i do that I, i'll say like the two things that brought it down for me is the runtime i think that um it struggles a little bit runtime wise I don't think yeah. it needed to be that long. Like, no, no, two, two no. it's also two fifteen, right? It's two fifteen. Mm -hmm. No, I think it's 
just yeah. over two, is it? Yeah, it's like two ten uh, or something like that. It could have been like one one fifty. Was it one four one forty five one fifty? It's under two. It's one hundred seventeen minutes. Mm. In fact, mm. it was a little bit longer on Netflix. Really. But the out the uh, the credits were like ten minutes long. Okay, maybe the credits were one fifty four. I see online. Yeah, whatever. I think it could have been one forty five. I think it could you know, be, I think it could be like one thirty five. One thirty five. Sure, yeah. that works. But um, those sure. are the two things that brought it down runtime, and then music's not. Um, too much but i i really did enjoy this the one point and i told you guys i'm gonna lay down some crazy knowledge here guys the original pinocchio is all about a son who wants to be a real boy and his dad loves him this one this pinocchio is about him wanting to be himself and his dad hates him for it at the start (laughs) bang there you go yeah there there you go but um that's my deep analysis um Did i have make one, any two, notes three, of this one? four five six seven eight nine ten eleven this is eleven right outside the top oh. ten unfortunately eleven of the year well, that's number ten year. just out of curiosity that, what beat it out to be honest. i have it at nine of the year um what is yeah, number get... ten on the count of three wow so you that's... only have but i come i thought you had a lot more films rated 87 okay i guess that i've kind of dropped thought... i've kind of dropped a lot i've dropped oh, a okay. lot like I every time about... I put one in, I drop them because I don't want to keep yeah, everything yeah. getting bunched up, um, which maybe isn't fair to the movie, but I don't care. I was thinking yeah. you and George would probably have it like, because you've watched a lot, especially Cam. You've watched a lot. Actually, no, Cam, you know. watch terrible films. What George movie? Especially... I'm George. I'm about to name the movies higher. That like which which one of these? Obviously, everything, everywhere, all at once. After yeah. Sun, The Banshees, yeah. Yeah. Uh, The Batman, yep. Yeah. RRR, yep. Uh, Top Gun Maverick. Nope, I have that at ten, right behind. Ah, okay, yeah. okay. I have okay. and then Marvel this one I know for sure you don't have. Uh, Black Panther: Wakanda Forever. I still no. have up there. The Northman. I have the I have Pinocchio. I have Pinocchio above the Northman. Yeah, Pinocchio, Pinocchio above. The... Wow. Yeah. Watcher, George. Below then, Pinocchio. I oh shit! Wow. Really? Yeah, the the only wow. movies I have above Pinocchio are Nope, Banshees, RRR, On Account of Three, All Quiet on the Western Front, The Batman, Everything Everywhere, and After Sun. Okay, and then yeah, and then, my last one's on the count of three. Right? Yeah, and then right below that is Top Gun Maverick, Marcel the Shell, and Watcher. No, oh, wow, I thought Wait, you'd have Watcher. Did you say Banshee sure. as well? Yeah, yeah. above. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, I don't have any notes for this one, but I I uh, I do have, and it doesn't need to be that long of a review, but I do have a nice little segment I'm calling. Hey, here's some fun trivia. So, hey here's some fun trivia uh similarly to the original disney movie the terrible dogfish had an ap- adaptation of a villainous role where they're actually trying to eat the uh trying to eat pinocchio unlike the uh, newest uh disney adaptation adaptation where it just accidentally eats them i believe um hey here's some fun trivia also similar to the original um i can there's not a lot of fun <laughs> trivia this week i'm gonna be honest a lot of callbacks to the original movie but Pinocchio lies to get out of the dogfish, uh, and most importantly, declaring that he hates his father. So, very emotional. Um, I have a lot of these, but I'm not going to read through. I'll, I'll get a fun one. This is Mark, Mark Gustafson, Gustafsson's directorial debut. debut. Um, Count Volpe, Volpe, I believe it's pronounced. Uh, the uh, Fox character in Italian is, is, is uh, Italian for Fox. Volpe is. Um, there's a little fun fact. And then this is this is the first animated movie directed by or animated film directed by Guillermo del Toro. It's the longest an, uh, stop motion animated film, and this is Ron Perlman's eighth collaboration with Guillermo del Toro. So hey, there's your fun facts. Hey, who the Thank fuck you, is Tom. Ron Perlman? Um, let me. I, I knew last night, but I forgot. Podesta. Podesta. Oh. Yeah. Which this known? is eighth collaboration. Pod- oh, okay. Yeah, the yeah, interesting. Cool um that's all i have for y'all that that it, it's it, it, like we said it's pinocchio but better that's that's all it is yeah, you know it's, it's yeah. a very good pinocchio it's a better adaptation exactly yeah. looks great 